Welcome to Moody Mare Diaries. <laughs> this feels very strange. We've not like sat down and done a vlog in so long. Our last one was actually four months ago. I know, we feel like rookies again. We were sitting here like... I know, it was like the we... first one we did. We actually had like a script. We should have done that for today. We probably should have. We, um... Yeah, this isn't coming as as naturally now. I know. I think it would if we weren't just sitting on the couch in front of a camera. That's true. <laughs> so yeah, we've missed you guys. Um, long time no see. Hopefully you've missed us as well, maybe. Yeah. Who knows? Let us know. <laughs> because this might be pointless if no one's missed us. People are like, thank God they're off YouTube. They were really boring. But yeah, um, it's been it's been a weird four months actually. I've missed vlogging. Oh yeah, no, I know. Yeah. We both have and we've both been like meaning to get back at it, but We've just been so busy, yeah. so... There's been just... so much going on. We're going to give you a wee recap. We're going to tell you why we've kind of had a wee break from mm -hmm. vlogging. And then we're going to tell you what we want to. So, like I said, our last video was four months ago. It was uh, my first BE. It was... Feels like an actual lifetime ago, doesn't it? Hopefully yeah, one. I know. Feels it's like so weird. So it's like long ago. we were so so excited for that one like moment and day and like yeah. we kept so long for it. We're so so excited for yeah. it, and then everything just kind of like went a bit blah after yeah. after that. I think we started struggling with some ideas at the time that weren't competition vlogs because the weather was absolutely mental in Scotland. It feels weird saying that because it's like the end of November now, but it was so hot. It was like thirty degrees for yeah. like a month, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So we couldn't really get out and do much um i think it was what how long after that was it i went to warwick hall after what your first uh -huh. be like three weeks, three weeks or something, something yeah. like that so i entered another be um that obviously isn't on the channel it's uh, it was down in warwick hall so we traveled to carlisle mm -hmm. which is how long like was it like four hours or something three like hours, that something yeah like that, and uh, we stayed over and stuff it was amazing we actually did vlog it um and I don't know why we just didn't make it a vlog. So I do remember why I vlogged Warwick but didn't post it. So my laptop screen was broken and then I sent it away and got it back and it won't download iMovie. So we're going to have to do this on Cammy's laptop, Joanna's boyfriend. Yeah, but, we also um, did just get a bit lazy as well. Yeah, <laughs> just, we did. Like, um, we just didn't really bother. But um, I'm going to insert a few clips of Warwick. It was amazing. Good girl. She was so good. We went, we got, I think we got a really bad dressage actually, but it was harshly marked across the whole section, wasn't it? And yeah, got like a, she went really, really well there. She went but yeah, it was sweet. Cool. It was like, I think it was a 41 or dressage, mm -hmm, was it? Mm -hmm. um, clear show jumping, which I was absolutely buzzing with because it was quite up to height. There was like yeah. a triple bar and everything in it. Mm -hmm. So, and that was like the best she'd felt show jumping. I was so buzzing with her. And then we had one stop in the cross country over this massive fence. I'll insert a picture. It was a massive fence. And um, and the rest she just flew around and she jumped it the second time around when I came over to it, but mm -hmm. oh, it was big. And someone said they measured it and it was like a metre ten at the top of the brush or something yeah. like that. It was great, it was big. Um, but yeah, she was amazing. Um, and then we had a really yeah. fun weekend as well, so we fun. went for tea. We Here are. we are. <laughs> at the fountain. <laughs> because there's a table beside us and Emma's in Paris as well. So we're maybe just going to pause this video. So I think Joanna may have had too much to drink. Um, we've decided we can vlog now. The table next to us has left. It's a bit less embarrassing. So we've asked if there's somewhere else we can go. After this, we got told there's not. So we could go to the function room on our own if we want to, but we decided no. Um, yeah, so then Emma asked for some music and they, she said, behind us is a music board where all the music is. And um, and it, it's, it's really nice to look at, to be honest. There's a lot of like good music on it. Like, there's a stroke crew. It's Arctic Monkeys, I'm going to see them next month. That's exciting. There's a lot of good um, bands there, but I'm not really sure what um, this is as I'm going to be doing. Yeah, we're in a place called Cumwitten. It's actually is beautiful, but um, there's not a lot of nightlife, is there? 
getting Claire's birthday was just after that, so we done like prezzies and that, and um, yeah, it was just really fun. We stayed in a little so um, cottage yeah, thing. Yeah, we'll some videos on. of that. That was really cute. So the horses are there, and this is our wee accommodation, wee flat. How cute is this? It's got like a wee oven microwave and everything. Lou for Joanna. <laughs> oh my gosh, I almost just tripped up the step. A wee oven in that. How cute and like quintessential like, English countryside is this place? Look at the tiny wee windows, it's like half my height. Love it. Oh my god, and then you go up this wee step <laughs> on our bed. You look out the windows okay. and there's sheep. You're not convincing me to sleep no, no, on no. that. It's actually really comfy. Is it? No, it really is. And I think it looks bouncy. Is it a yes. bouncy? Yes! <laughs> and this is so out of my room. And oh, how bloody cute. How actual cute is this? Look out the windows. So bonny. It was a really, really good weekend. Um, successful weekend, tiring weekend because we travelled so far. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, she was amazing. She stabled really well in a new place and things like that. So that was good. Um, so the weather got mental hot. Yeah, After work, it was a bit it rubbish. We couldn't so do hot. much. I think most of the UK couldn't do much, mm -hmm. and for Scotland to actually be <laughs> extremely dry was yeah, wild. Yeah, it was. It was. It was mental. Yeah, it was nice, but different. when you've got horses and stuff like that, it wasn't actually. Very yeah, pleasant, especially to keep them like fit and mm -hmm. do canter work and stuff. Because we've just got grassy fields and they yeah. were rock solid. Yeah, yeah they couldn't horrible. Ride in them. Then it was Hopeton 2 next for the both of us. Yeah. I done the Saturday and Claire done the Sunday. Um, again, we did vlog it. I will insert some little snippets of Good bend. Go, go, go. Go, okay. <laughs> that as well but um i think at that point it was just starting to be a bit like there's a lot of pressure to vlog at a competition like you're already so busy and running about and then you're vlogging all that which is like fine when you're really into it but then i think it's just a shame that we couldn't do like fun vlogs around it yeah. as well which are so much more chill to do. Yeah, um, it became a lot of pressure. Yeah, to just do it at competitions. And a lot of you as well were messaging saying like, you prefer kind of a lot of natural vlogs alongside yeah. the competition ones. So we were just a bit in a in a rut. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Hopeton 2 for me was fine. It was good. My dressage was good. I think that was the start of Blondie starting to like school really well over the next like month and a half. She was going amazing. What did you get? Um, like. No, no, that was last year. Twenty-six. Well, that was hoped in last year. Um, thirty-three, something like that. I thought it was better than that. It was a really sweet test. Oh God, I can't remember now. I will insert the number here. <laughs> um, and then show jumping was good. Um, I still felt confident show jumping at that point. We got to the last jump, which she refused. I did throw in at a dodgy stride, but it was unlike her to start refusing anyway. Um, but it was just a one-off sort of thing, so I didn't think too much of it. Came around again, she was totally fine, and yeah, no, the show jumping was pretty good. Um, knocked down a couple as well, I think. So <laughs> maybe not that good. God, it's so Joanna weird. Joanna and I like always that. think that like a jumping round's good as long as they don't stop. It's true. It's true. <laughs> um, and then cross country, she felt absolutely amazing. That was a really difficult course. Um, yeah. A lot of people were struggling with that. I think because the, the um, heat and the fitness and stuff, because they changed the course, didn't they, for Hopeton this, the second time around, because the, yeah. they hadn't been able to like irrigate the ground, they kept it all like on top of the hill, mm -hmm. which was strange, so it was very well, twisty. Yeah, it was really twisty, um, and again, that was just her second 90, so she'd done absolutely amazing, but because she's speedy, I checked my clock, my clock, my what's it called? Watch. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> I checked my watch, like... I jump away from home and realised that I was 40 seconds too fast. So I then slowed her like right down between the second last jump and the last jump. And I think she thought we were done because I usually like egg her on the whole way and we just like zoom about. So I think she thought she was done and then she refused the last jump. 
came round again she jumped it totally fine but that was just like a silly error yeah. something to learn from in the future like check your watch much earlier than yeah. the second last jump. <laughs> don't leave it to the last <laughs> jump but yeah no um yeah then it was me the next day and what happened we got our best dressage yeah i think it was like 34 yeah and um even though i thought it felt horrible um <laughs> oh, yeah so you were 34 i think i was like 32 or something 31 or something anyway um yeah, so then we went into the show jump and warm up, and she actually, I think she was alright in the warm up. Mm-hmm. But when we went into the ring, it went to absolute rubbish. Like, it was just crazy. Like, I was in my head, the ground wasn't great. They had integrated it though, and it was a lot better than it was down south. So, like, people were still riding it on it, like, it was fine, but mm-hmm. um, there was no grass cover. I don't think it was that the ground was hard. I think it was slippy because there wasn't any grass cover. And mm-hmm. she's not got studs in and she has back shoes on. So I felt her skidding about a bit. And she jumped the first one quite nicely. Then I buried her into the second one. And then the third she stopped at. Or was it the fourth she stopped at? Yeah, the third she kind of just like flopped over. Yeah, it. and she stopped. Which, like, I hadn't been giving her a good round. But there was, like, it's like she skidded into the fourth mm-hmm. jump, didn't she? Like, you could see in the video her back legs kind of go under her. I'll insert a video. <laughs> oh dear. Um, but, and then she jumped at the second time, but like really over jumped it. And then the next jump was horrendous. Like she like kind of pinged it and crashed into it or something. And then, so I just retired because I thought, what is the point in this? I'm going to come away from show jumping with like 8 million faults from like all these jumps we're like crashing into. I'm just going to ruin her confidence. Plus it wasn't like her as mine. well. It's just yeah. like, what's the point in continuing when like, it's that? It could have been completely my fault. It could have been the ground's fault. It could have been her... Well, it wasn't her fault. But it was just like... It could have been so many different things. But it just wasn't normal for her. Especially since she went so well at Warwick. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. I didn't want to take her in cross country like that. Um. So, yeah. I just retired. I was absolutely gutted. Dude. Yeah. Like, I felt, was devastated. I felt like I had just, like, well, ruined everything. Literally, your second PA. No, third. 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 Mm. And, like, everything had yeah. been going up. And then it just yeah, everything was going down. really, really well. But that's the thing, like... The journey of it all is yeah, just like nothing like horses to keep you humble. I know it was like, but um, yeah, I was so gutted. I felt like I totally let her down, and I just wish I hadn't went. And you know, but you never know what's gonna happen. And and it's been like months now, so I'm fine. <laughs> but like at the time, I was like, oh my god, I ruined yeah. everything. So unfortunately, that meant we pulled out of Blair because there was no point in me going and feeling absolutely terrified and like ramming her in mm-hmm. every fence. Um, so yeah, it was the work and hunter. Same as last year we were meant to be doing. I felt actually really confident before for that because I was like, we'll breeze, that's fine. I know. But um, I was like, what is the point in going? I'll just go enjoy my weekend, let the horse graze in the field and have a chill time. She doesn't know any different. And yeah, had a great weekend. But yeah, it was a bit sad to be pulling out, but we don't want to be working hunter riders anyway, do we? Yeah. <laughs> so that's fine. But yeah. Okay, and we have... <laughs> I, I wish I pulled out. Um, okay. <laughs> so about the week before, no, the week, yeah, the week before Blair, I um done a little like most negative one. <laughs> a little training competition thing um at How, and I fell off in the warm up just because she chipped in and I kind of went flying over her head. She then didn't want to go over any more jumps. There's not one positive thing. <laughs> and then went out and... Um, you the shouting. <laughs> I then fell off. I don't like to I then ran out. I oh, then God. went and tried to jump my round anyway and not lose confidence because I hadn't lost it yet. So I was like, you know what? We're going to do this. She can do this. Like, I can't let her start refusing. So um, she did not like it at all. And then I thought, like... This isn't going well. Warmed up for the next round. She's going okay. She didn't stop. Went back out. She stopped again. Anyway, it was just like about 100 refusals. And I didn't even know when so to call it a day. Her, eh? like... <laughs> no, I know. So I didn't know when to call it a day because I didn't want it to become a thing. But then after I did, I was like, why did I bother trying? Because it isn't like her and I should have just like listened to her and stopped at that point. But then it's, it's so difficult when you know you're going to lose yeah. your confidence if you leave it at that. Look at like hindsight's a beautiful thing. Like oh, it's so easy to be on the ground and say like you should have done X, Y, Z. But like when you're on their backs, it's so different. And yeah. you've just got to go with what you feel in the heat of the moment. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, Yeah, I then hard. had a lesson and she was really, really good. But she did stop 
maybe once or twice, which like in the grand scheme of things isn't much when you're doing, I don't know how many jumps you generally do in a lesson, maybe like 20. Oh, Who that, knows, yeah? Yeah, God knows. Something like that. So like it's not <laughs> a lot in the grand scheme of things, but it was still enough to make me feel like, mm, a bit nervous. Yeah, because she never used to stop. Yeah, exactly. So it was like, just like ever. a big change and like I've not... The, like I've not came from much. I just I just plodded about with Casper and then got Blondie and worked up from doing cross pulls, fifty, sixty, seventy, like super slowly over the first year of having her. Um, so and it I was do really think weird. That's so. the thing. Like, and a lot of people maybe watching will think that like because you're now jumping ninety, like there's going to be more issues thrown at you. Oh yeah, hundred you know I mean? percent. She's a tiny pony. She needs confidence yeah. from me. She needs me to know what I'm doing, and I think sometimes I might not actually know what I'm doing as much as I think I do. Um, it's like we need confidence from the horse, and the horse needs confidence from us. Yeah. And yeah, it's just, and she's a classy pony, and she's been so good for you. So it's like yeah. It's, it's inevitable at some um, point things aren't going to be perfect but but yeah i took her fine. to blair anyway because our problem was with show jumping i was like we just need to get around nine show jumps and then i still felt confident about cross country so i actually wasn't too nervous about that at all and um, she warmed up amazing in the show jumping she, she did her dressage around. really nice oh yeah her dressage was lovely I think yeah. that was, God knows, <laughs> I'll insert the score here. Well, I can't even remember. Um, yeah, I don't know, it was amazing. a good score though. Considering the atmosphere in that, she was so yeah. good. Yeah, in a big cross country field as well, the dressage was like in, in a strange place, but yeah. she, she was lovely and at this point she'd been going so, so well school. So that was great, but I think with horses it's like, once you crack the dressage, the show jumping goes to pot, or like <laughs> once you're so confident cross country, your dressage is awful, it's just mental. Um, Metal. So show jumping, she warmed up absolutely amazing because that was going to be my do I do the rest of this or not because her dressage was great and then started warming up and show jumping and she jumped absolutely everything. She was going over 90 spreads without an issue. Um, got out to the show jumping and I think she jumped seven jumps fine um, and then we got to jump number eight which was literally like two away from home um, and she stopped twice at that. Oh no. Shit. Got over that one, got over the next one, then she, she stopped again. So that was us eliminated. First, mm, first BE elimination. But it was a difficult one because it wasn't actually all going awful. I was like, I got into that point where I was, it was only so like two weird. jumps away from home. It just seems quite but. strange because. It's not like a we like a weird thing. She's not a spooky pony at jump. No, thing. I like, know. It was just like a jump, and she just decided no. Do you know what I mean? To be fair, it was the only one with a big red brick wall underneath it. Mm. Was the second? Was it one. the second one that she stopped at that had like no yeah, the nothing second one really? Yeah. yeah. So, so I think she's just starting to lose her confidence easily if I don't like ride properly, and then I'm getting nervous. So anyway a little bit negative there it was it wasn't great but then yeah. we had a great weekend for the so rest fun. of it yeah we stayed in a tent which was kind of minging and cold but it was really fun It was really funny. I <laughs> love like the, the weekend best kid. weekend ever of the whole year. Like I urge you guys, if you've not been and you're from up here, or even if you're not from up here, you should come for the whole weekend because it's so fun. The partying's amazing. But yeah, that's we, our positive of the yeah. vlog. We didn't even have party. any like all um, goes <laughs> yeah, like, all goes crap. <laughs> We're gonna party, but um. Yeah, we didn't vlog because we actually didn't even have a phone charger with us or anything. Oh, but, yeah, and I expected things to possibly not go well yeah, anyway. So you don't want the pressure of us being like, Yeah, Come I on, just wanted jump. to go and do a good dressage test since she was schooling well anyway. Yeah. So, <laughs> done that. 
So the big news that we had to keep a secret for so long was that Joanna got into All Star Academy, which was so cool. That was cool. But really intense, really far away. But I thought me and Blondie really needed the training more than anything at that point. So can't say too much about that, but that was the next thing that mm -hmm. we'd done a couple of, maybe three weeks after Blair. So I was feeling really um, nervous and my confidence was probably at an all, all time low, but yeah, we went there and we've done it anyway. Mm -hmm. and Episode one is out now on Horse and Country TV or on YouTube actually. So yeah, you can watch it either places, can't you? Yes, see how we got on. <laughs> And then Claire started uni at that point. I did. I got onto my dream course, which is really, really exciting. I started uni the same week Joanna went away to All Stars. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's been going really, really well. Well, I think it has. I've not actually had my exam results back for my first exam yet. But um, so in my head, it's been going well. I've been loving it. So oh I'm God, really excited. Oh God, you've been excited. wanting to make a new vlog if you, if you fail now. Don't say that. <laughs> Um, and then after All Stars, which I can't say much about, obviously. Um... Oh my God! 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 Joanna's boyfriend was had his face at the door, the glass door. <laughs> I actually jumped in my skin there. Oh my God! Um, and after All Stars, I decided to give Blondie a good six weeks off to just chill and relax her mind after a bit of a. Yeah. Crazy off She's a buzzy wee pony as well. It's quite good for her to just have some time to like not really think about yeah. it much. So since then, I've just been hacking and starting up schooling again. A way to start doing lessons about two weekly. And I'm going to start doing just like little grids again and work my way back up. I don't think I'll be doing many competitions at all over winter and just focus on lessons for the next probably like mm -hmm. three, four months or until my confidence comes back and Blondie's confidence comes back really. Yeah, that's fair. I am... Um... I've been getting lots of lessons, like lots of lessons. I'm going to be bankrupt soon. But, oh, um, I'm like, I'm, what's that, like a month behind you in life. No, probably like two months behind you. Yeah. Because you're two. already in the, like, in the for it. lesson stage. Honestly, I went to my first, like, lesson after Blair's, to, like, I've lost all my confidence. Jade's lost all her confidence. Like, it's a nightmare. Like, we had to retire in the show jumping. Blah. And she's been absolutely fine. Yeah, she? totally, <laughs> like, totally fine. She's been really good, actually. We've been doing really, really well. Lots of dressage sure. lessons and jumping lessons. Keep it, come on. Good. And legs. One, two, three, four. Good. That's better. Um, yeah. So like, that's good. If your confidence is coming back already, I have no doubt that I'm getting there. So. Um, not done any competitions or that. My instructor keeps telling me to go and enter some competitions, but I'm really scared that when I get there, I'm going to be like mm. really nervous. I think we're both just going to start off like small and chill and not put any pressure mm. on ourselves over this winter at all, really. Just... Yeah. So I've got camp this weekend, which seems like a weird time of the year to have camp. It's like indoor camp. It's basically like show jumping and like simulated cross country yeah. um so it's like a bent camp and there's two event riders that are teaching us one's my regular instructor and one i've never had lessons from so i'm really excited for that i'm going to be sleeping in my car at the end of november in scotland so pray for me um i'm going to bring like 87 water bottles and doobies and everything you actually need to give me your doobie yes i do because i don't have a winter one. Oh my god so yeah it's going to be freezing but i'm really excited actually i'm a wee bit nervous but um it's just good to get the training in, isn't it? A hundred percent. And that is going to be our next vlog. Claire is going to video camp. Unfortunately, I'm not going because I'm obviously not at that stage yet and I've got a busy weekend anyway, which will be in a vlog sometime in the next month. What well, I'm up to. Thank you for tuning in to this very chatty, possibly boring, but we tried to make as interesting as possible yeah, with we being realistic. Really come back into the vlog and like just pretend nothing happened, like we hadn't been away for four months. Do you know what I mean? Happened. Just a lot's <laughs> happened. Um so yeah, we've I think we've updated you on everything, we've covered well majority of things that are going on in life. But um yeah, we've got a lot of ideas. Yeah, we actually have so many. Next. There's going to be a um, all Stars vlog, I'm going to discuss that at a point where I can and say like what my thoughts are, was on that whole experience and what happened in that. And then I'm also going to Olympia 
10 so I'm going to vlog that meeting up with a couple of people from All Stars as well so that'll be really fun and yeah we're just gonna do like loads of like lessons mm -hmm. and vlog them and yeah there's loads there's loads on the table yeah we're, we've got a lot planned so exciting <laughs> probably a lot of tears as well from us but um but i'm sure you'll get used to it <laughs> you'll see what i'm not i don't even know what i'm trying to say i don't know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> see, see what we're up <laughs> <laughs> anyway what a way to go for a ride <laughs> merry christmas so that's us <laughs> so that is us we're away to go for a ride and we will see you in the next see one. See you next time. Next week. Tune in to Moody Mere Diaries. No. Next time. Next time. <laughs>